Welcome back to the Buck Stops here. Time now to take a look at our other big story, corruption that seems to be eating away at the edifice of the Commonwealth Games. We're joined now by Mike Hooper, the CEO of the Commonwealth Games Federation. He's our newsmaker tonight. Now, Mr. Hooper, you have written a letter to the organizing committee headed by Suresh Kalmari asking for clarifications on all of the corruption allegations that are literally chipping into the, 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 you know, the very foundation on which these games have been built. What are your specific concerns and how alarmed are you at the kind of reports you're seeing of money being siphoned off uh, abroad, of uh, overlay tenders being manipulated and overpriced? What are you most concerned about? We have written to the organising committee on two angles. Firstly, in relation to the, uh, the revelations that came out late on Friday pertaining to the Queen's Mountain Relay uh, arrangements in London and just seeking uh, a, a report on that. And you know, obviously events have overtaken a little bit because a lot of information has come out over the weekend. Uh, separate to that, we've written to the organising committee uh, expressing our great concern, uh, which is more concern to us at the moment, of course, is the CVC report which has uh, stated that uh, there is evidence that uh, substandard materials, building materials, have been used on some of the construction sites. Right, and that of course pertains, according to Mr Kalmadi, to the Delhi government. Have you got any answers at all to the clarifications that you've sought? Well, it's, it's, it's not for the organising committee to, to answer. The organising committee is, is the conduit that the Commonwealth Games Federation works through. Now, Mr. Kalmadi himself, on Saturday, I understand, uh, going by reports that I saw, uh, stated very clearly that he would not be prepared to accept any venue from, from the agencies that was not fit for purpose and effectively did not have all the regulatory uh, approvals and requirements. So, um, so basically, uh, you know, that's, that's where we're at. So we've written to the organising committee. The organising committee, we're asking them to follow up with the agencies, because responsibility for the delivery of the venues sits with the agencies, DDA, SI, CPWD, etc. Uh, and it's them that have to uh, ensure that what they deliver to the organising committee and ultimately to the athletes of the Commonwealth is a safe and secure venue. At the moment, the CVC report casts some doubt on that, and that is of concern to us. So we've asked for that report. We've asked certainly by the time of the uh, executive board meeting of the organising committee due to take place here in Delhi on August 18th, that uh, a report be secured from the various agencies confirming exactly that, confirming that all the approvals are indeed real and not fabricated as perhaps suggested by the CVC report, um, and uh, that indeed the venues are fit for purpose. We've gone even further, given the timelines now to the Games, uh, strongly recommending to the organising committee that it seeks a guarantee and an indemnity from the venue owners that these venues are fit for purpose, because you know it is very concerning what has come out of that interim report from CVC. Right. You're saying that the organizing committee, and Mr. Kalmadi is saying this as well, does not have to answer to the charges made in the CVC report because it deals with construction. But there is a particular scandal first reported by NDTV that, that pertains to the organizing committee directly, and that's the issue of a tender called the overlay tenders. We've seen alarming and bizarre details surface. Air conditioners on rent for 4 lakh rupees a piece, more than 9 lakh rupees are being paid as rent uh, for a treadmill on hire, more than 4,000 rupees for a roll of toilet paper how do you how do you make sense of these kind of allegations uh, Mike Hooper look these reports of corruption at any time uh, are, are very concerning and uh, that's what these reports are, uh, are suggesting and they should be investigated and as I say I mean I can't preempt nor can the Commonwealth Games Federation preempt an investigation I understand Mr. Kalmadi on the weekend invited and said he welcomed any inquiry judicial or otherwise uh, into any of the contracts associated with the games, and uh, uh, I'm sure he'll be taken up on that invitation. So, you know, let it run, let it, it must run its course. And as I say, if there has been any wrongdoing by any party, then uh, appropriate action should be taken. And I'm sure.